let's talk about circus and Cirque du Soleil, which is both, and you've worked with Cirque, have you not? Not with the Cirque directly, but with some okay. other people from the Cirque on but another in terms project. Of, yeah, but in terms of, of high-tech use, right, of using all the gizmos and gadgets and the projectors and this is and that, with a, that wouldn't be possible unless Montreal and Quebec were pushing on that forefront of what can we find, what can we invent. You know, there's La Page in Quebec City. So is this something that we're lagging behind as we clunk nicely, Tarragon keeps going, the Manitoba Theatre, the Neptune Theatre, but we don't push out into these areas because we were talking about Francophone Anglophone and the yeah. slightly more literal version of, of English culture. I'm not sure that that is a manifestation of Franco-Anglo uh, at all. It's more, a, uh, more a man of, in the case of the Cirque, it's certainly more a manifestation of business, and big business. Uh, I mean, this Cirque, like, uh, like any proper uh, artistic organization, uh, especially with those kinds of figures, has a certain amount of uh, a certain amount set aside for uh, research and development. I'm sure, and a lot of their their technologies have come from that uh, research and development that is ongoing. Uh, the Cirque. They have amazing uh, workshops up at the, the Miron, uh, where, where their headquarters are, uh, uh, up in Montreal North. Uh, so, I mean, I saw, um, last thing I did, I don't see all of the Cirque shows because there's a certain sameness to them now that is set in uh, over, the, over the years. I mean, they, they've been 20, 30, whatever number of productions, they always seem to involve a, maybe it's a little boy or a little girl or a, a young couple, you know, in love or something who are looking for, for meaning or looking for something and they wander off or, or they fall asleep and all of these amazing things occur to them, you know what I mean? And that's the device that they use to introduce like all the rest of these characters and the amazing aerial acts and stuff that they do. So that's great, and it's a great, it works uh, all the time. But there is a certain sameness to, uh, to their shows, because you can sort of trace the arc. But I did see one last year, it was a new production, it's called Totem. Right. You ever hear tell a totem? Yeah. It has a, it, it had a token, uh, acknowledgement of um, Aboriginal culture here or something, you know what I mean? But it was pretty token. I mean, it was a, actually it was a roller skating number when they were dressed like Pocahontas and Running Bear or somebody, you know what I mean? Uh, in, in costumes that didn't look authentic at all. They looked like they were from Vegas because they were covered with sequin, you know what I mean? But. <laughs>